guys and welcome this is spiritual findings and I'm Vera Lynn today we're gonna do something different and we're gonna get crafty okay so pour yourself a glass of wine hot tea coffee hot chocolate whatever it might be sit down and enjoy these holiday crafts okay whether it's Yule Christmas whatever holiday that you guys and your family celebrate these are just some things that you can just use around the house if you have some paints a hot glue gun even better these are just some simple things Things that will have some meaning for you guys and is really low on that budget because we all know those holidays can be tough am I right right kitty you know maybe spend a few dollars at holiday tree maybe repurpose some ornaments into something bigger that you can really have that's really more purpose that's kind of what I did I I was about to throw some things out for the holidays just stuff I didn't use didn't have any meaning to me but I kind of looked at it and you know I was like I'm gonna craft this year I'm gonna make some things with the kids I'm gonna make some things for myself to just kind of bring more meaning into the holiday here are five simple affordable things that you can do to bring the spirit into your holiday so first up, we have some lovely uh, little cuts of Mother Nature. <laughs> These are this is just actually a branch that fell down in my yard, and um, I had the tools to cut it up. If you guys don't have the tools to cut it up or Mother Nature to cut up. Um, go ahead, you can find these at a craft store. They are a little bit more pricey, about uh, two, three bucks a piece. But uh, if you have the ability to make them on your own, go ahead and do that. You know, just looking at uh, the beauty of Mother Nature is something that I would like to bring in my holidays. I'm actually not even going to stain these or anything. I'm just going to um, put a symbol on here that means a lot to me. And then I just have some odds and ends that I've saved over the year or some ornaments that, you know, I am was going to repurpose or donate or throw out. And I was just like, hey, if there's anything that I feel like I'm drawn to that I might be able to use. So I actually have this gift bag of stuff and I have this. So these are absolutely beautiful. I think I'm going to stick these on the sides. And um, this actually fell off of a reef or something. I'm not quite sure, but that's beautiful. I feel like that goes with the wood. So, but we're going to repurpose these as some ornaments um, that I'm gonna hang from my tree and uh, like I said I'm gonna put some meaning into it and then just decor it with some things that I had lying around So 
Next up, what we have on our list is something that is so simple that everybody has within their kitchen. It's something you can repurpose. It means a lot. You could do it with the family. You could do it with your spouse. It's something that could be really meaningful to do with yourself. And that is a journey jar. Okay, guys, so all you need is a glass jar. Um, this one is actually just from a sauce jar marinara. Something I had last night. I just cleaned it up. I actually have a video on how how to really easily take off that sticker. A journey jar is great for the family. It is something fun to do. You can add your own personal touches inside, something that means a lot to you, something that you can refer to. This is something you guys actually participate in weekly. Every week after Christmas, or even leading up to Christmas, you guys can start this early. I don't see why not. You write something down on a little piece of paper or you put something inspiring in here. Now you write on the piece of paper something you're grateful for, something you did that week that was really fun, okay? And you do that throughout the year, just once a week, maybe every day if you're feeling having a good week, whatever it might be. Um, you know, I also like to add my fortune cookie pieces in here, just to, uh, you know, anything that I find really funny. Um, sometimes I'll put a gemstone in here to start out the year with. I'll show you guys how I'm going to make this one for this year. The year for 2020 and um, it's just something that you can do amongst yourself just to really kind of look back it's so fun when you guys come around next year and read these and it's just so fun to do and they're so gorgeous and they're cheap to do borderline nothing you know I was about to recycle this but I thought this would be a great jar to kind of start off the year and I am once again just using stuff that I have re purposed. Um, I have some burlap that I'm going to be using for the top to make the top really pretty. Um, and other than that, it's just putting stuff inside. You're welcome to paint it. You can put whatever kind of sigils on here numerologies, things that mean to you, anything to you. I'm actually going to keep it clear and put things in it that mean a lot to me. Okay, so you can paint it, you can do whatever you want with it, but I'm just going to put things in it that mean a lot to me that I can see. And uh, we'll show you how I get about it. This is something so simple. You can do this in less than five minutes, okay? So we're working on the journey jar, okay? So I have my journey jar right here. Like I said, I blessed it. Um, before I actually get started, I might just take it out in the moonlight real quick because it is nighttime right here and bless it once again before I get started. Right now, intention is everything when it comes to this journey jar. So I have some things here that you guys um, can see that I'm actually going to put uh, in the jar. So I'm going to be putting some things in my journey jar that to me will help me bring the intention that I want to this year, okay? I have a couple spices and I have a couple coins as well as crystals and some other things that I really wanna place in there. And this is just gonna help me and remind me what I wanna bring in. Now I could do a charm bag and place it within the jar, but I'm just gonna head and just put it right in there, okay? You guys can personalize this. You can put your own charm like an old charm from a necklace or you know whatever it might be that really brings you happiness with inside this journey jar I place money to bring in wealth this year I bring in I put in the adventuring the heart chakra healing I put in the tiger eye for willpower and strength I put in the carnelian for cleansing as well as creativity. I put in salt for protection. I put a lot of salt in for a lot of protection we needed this year. Okay, let's put that in. That's salt. Yes, we need that protection. Just adding a little bit of flavor here to my my tablecloth here. Okay, Ginger, I'm really looking forward to changing my life this year regarding my diet um, and things like that. I think I'm literally gonna make some tea after this because this ginger smells amazing. Oh, that smells so good. Okay, so we're just gonna dump this bad boy and when I dump it in here, I'm just gonna imagine me and the mind, body, and soul chapter level I want to be on, okay? Just take some time and actually I just feel the need since I have it in the cap here I feel like the need to just tap it and kind of put the intent in here 
kind of just put like a little spiral. A little spiral in the cap. Kind of bless it. And then... Ooh. Okay, and while you're doing this, guys, put on some music. Get in the mood, you know? You really got to be thinking about what you want to manifest, okay? For the next year, all right? This is your journey jar. Cinnamon, like I said, nothing special. I got all this stuff at the store or like a home goods. I'm gonna do a few taps. I'm gonna first probably put it in my hand so just so I can bless it a little bit better. And I'm going to imagine just flaring up spice and excitement because um, you know, that's what cinnamon does. It excites you, you know, maybe a lot of memories too tied with it, okay? Feels good. Now, like I said, some of you guys might want to do a charm bag in here, whatever you want, so your, um, you know, papers and stuff don't get cinnamon and all that good stuff on them, but... Feels so good to do that. And look how pretty that is so far. Is it gonna dirty the jar? Yes! But <laughs> that's okay. We're just doing in this anyway. Okay? The point is to remember and oh my god that smells so good ginger and cinnamon all right now we're gonna add some hibiscus okay just a couple leaves this is from my plant my hibiscus um i always eat these hibiscus every year in my salad um and they are so sweet these are the leaves i just harvest them for my spell work i'm gonna put them in too to me, that's inspiring, just like, um, you know, learning more about plants and just enjoying summer and realizing that you can forage a lot more stuff. So, okay, so maybe the knowledge of that coming in this year. Because uh, I just love eating stuff that nature provides, guys. Like, okay, did I put in the sugar? I don't know if I put in the sugar, which that would be bad. All right, so let's put in the sugar. Notice, yes, I do have everything in Patron bottles. All right, so we're just adding some sugar here. Want to really sweeten things up. Really sweeten things up this year. Woo! Okay. This feels good to be making this. And you know what? That's what it should feel. If it feels wrong, maybe you're going with it with the wrong intent. Um, but I am just loving this. Okay. Loving this. All right, so because I do have a lot of dust here, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I think I'm fine with it. I'm going to start writing some notes and just adding it in here. Of course, it's going to be a little personal, so I can't have you guys see. Um, but I will show you me making at least the lid so you can see that process and also the end result. Okay. Alright guys, for our next one, this one is so simple. If you can find a twig on the ground that calls to you, this is going to be what you're going to use for your next ornament. Right now, I have a twig and we're going to make these lovely little star ornaments. And you know, once again, we're going to use these simple little things um, that I just had from other stuff. But yeah, so all you need is hot glue, a stick, and some little odds and ends. Now, you can use different types of branches for different things. Uh, birch brings protection. Uh, this is an apple twig, so I want to bring happiness and um, fruitfulness into the next year. So I am using an apple twig. This is actually from my tree. So you can make these as big as you want. You don't have to use little twigs. You could use something a little bit bigger and actually, um, you know, work as that out off a wreath or something to hang. I personally have a few um, 
twig stars uh, on my wall from different types of branches to represent stuff that I want to bring into my home. Okay, so this is more of a holiday thing, so I'm using apple twigs just because I want to bring that happiness into 2020. All right, guys, so I have my twigs all measured out, and I actually kind of just made sure that they fit together, that they were placed right before you go ahead and start gluing. And one thing with this is you can spray paint them. Like I have a metallic gold spray paint or I have a purple spray paint, um, black, white, you could do the holiday colors, green, blue, whatever you want. I love, like I said earlier, I love the earth colors so I'm just gonna keep the the bark as well as gonna mash the other ornaments that I have now on my tree so I'm just gonna keep it the way it is but feel free to paint this you know this is your star guys put whatever touch you want on it okay all right but I'm gonna actually time lapse this so you guys can see the process this is one of the easier things to make you know and it doesn't get any freer than just having mother nature help you find it So next up, I am doing some very sentimental ornaments. These are very cheap. You pick them up for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, or you can get them for 98 cents at a craft store. If you buy them for off season, two weeks after Christmas, you can pick them up for a quarter. They are the clear ornaments. You guys have probably used these in your crafting. You can just do so many different things. I have stuck family pictures in them, but this year, what I'm going to show you is is something sentimental and that I will cherish for years to come. See, I have two little ones. You can do this on your children or your fur babies. Hell, you can do it on yourself. <laughs> but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get my kids' heights and I'm going to measure it out in strings. My daughter's gonna get red. My son is going to get white. And I'm gonna place these strings. I'm probably gonna do one ball. I'm gonna place both the strings in here. I'm gonna have a little note that hangs off the side that says, for Christmas 2000, 2019 this string represents how tall I was now how cute is that you cannot be that For the last holiday craft here, I'm gonna do a good old fashioned wreath. Now this was something that came with a candle and um, I was actually gonna toss it out cause it really, it's not something I would wanna donate. But heck, I decided, you know, let's stick it around for the video, let's see if I can make it into something that maybe will <laughs> last another year or two. I'm not investing anything for it anyway. You can see it's actually kinda of falling apart. But, so you guys can get a really big wreath, spend a little bit more money, or you could find them at the dollar store. You can definitely find some at thrift stores. You know, you choose how much you want to put into it. Do different themes. You know, if you like Disney princesses, have at it. Nightmare Before Christmas Girl, have at it. Do you want to bring your spirituality, Wiccan, Pagan into it? Do you want to add a little bit of flair? Or do you just kind of want to stay classic? Rees never go out of style. But if you want to put your own touch with it, that is even more awesome. these 
five simple decorative things that you can do for your holidays. Don't forget to subscribe, like, as well as we have a Facebook, so you can go ahead and find that link in the description box. Here's for my channel, here's for another video that I hope you guys enjoy. Take care, happy holidays, and blessed be. Thanks for tuning in, guys. You can catch me. So here are five simple things you can do to bring the spirit. Streams here on YouTube. Like us on Facebook. Here are a few of my links for, you know, future videos or my channel. You know, I, I'm kind of new at this, but hey, happy holidays. Bless the bake. You know, I've been thinking about adding like the bloopers over the years. Comment below if you guys want to see bloopers from all the tarot readings and stuff that I've filmed over the years because they are funny. They are funny. You guys should comment below if you want to see any other holiday videos, whether it's making drinks or other crafts, you know, um, <laughs> things like that. Let's get crafty. Oh God. You know, sometimes I, sometimes I wonder Sometimes I wonder. He's so cute. He's one of my favorite Pokemon. I just love him. Thanks for tuning in, guys. You can catch me on live stream. I do tarot readings via live stream as well as so much fun in the community. You can join us on Facebook too. Here are a few of my links. Go ahead and meet us there, guys. Thanks. Happy holidays. Blessed be, guys. <laughs>